What's up viewers? Today, we're gonna to look at towing mirrors. Now, there's three things that have changed since I last towed a caravan. The first one is the tow vehicle. And therefore, the mirrors on the vehicle have changed. Will my existing towing mirrors fit? Who knows, let's find out. The second thing is the caravan. The caravan we had before was a standard seven foot, whatever it is, width caravan. And of course, the new one, if you haven't watched the video already, is an eight foot wide caravan. Click on the link to see the caravan that we chose. And the third thing is towing mirrors have changed ever so slightly. My preferred choice was the, what was the Aero 3, it's now the Aero 4. Milenko have now come up with a new version, which is the Platinum Mirror. So we're gonna try the one that I'm used to, the Aero, and see if that fits. And then if it does, that's great. And if it doesn't, do we need to upgrade to the Platinum? So we'll have a look at both of those and see which suits the vehicle best. So the question is, are the Aero 3 slash 4s gonna do the job? Or are we gonna need to upgrade to the Platinum Mirrors? Stay tuned to the end to find out which one I go for. I'll put links in the description to both of these models. Malenko Aero, Grand Aero, Aero Platinum, and Grand Platinum. So let's jump in and see how this Aero mirror fits in the car. We're gonna fit the Aero 3s on. So I've loosened all the brackets. Not enough, but loosen them a little bit more. Right, that's it, fitted. To be fair, that is, to be fair, that's quite secure. Now there is quite a big, there is quite a steep angle underneath here. So I'm surprised these are gripping as well as they are. But that's not too bad. I can move the arm out a little bit. So in terms of gripping on the mirror, I think that's pretty secure. You can see when I move the bar, the whole mirror is moving. That's fine. However, one of the problems is the distance. Let's see if we can move this camera back a little bit. I think this might not be wide enough for an eight foot caravan. But the good news is that feels quite secure. It doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. And that's fitted with the standard pads that come with the Aero mirror. Not using the LR pads, which are the Land Rover specific pads. These are just the standard pads. But I think they're fitted really well. Uh, the only concern is are they gonna be wide enough for the eight foot caravan? These are just the standard arms that come with the flat glass uh, Aero mirrors. So um, I'm gonna have to do some measurements and see whether or not that's gonna be wide enough or not. Let's try the Grand Platinum mirror to see if that fits any better. What's immediately obvious is the length of the bar. Let me see if I can get these in the in the shot. The bar is quite considerably longer. I would say maybe eight centimeters longer. Okay, we're gonna fit the Grand Platinum mirror now. First thing to note are the pads for these Grand Platinum mirrors are significantly bigger than the standard Aero mirrors. They're much wider. They go much deeper into the mirror and they made of, uh, they seem to be made of a sprung metal covered in rubber. But what they are doing, if you can see on the picture here, is they're spanning the front part of the mirror, the vehicle mirror, and onto the back part. So the back part is gripping there, the front part is gripping there. I want to show you the difference between the pads on the Platinum and the original Aeros. The Platinum, brackets and clamps are exactly the same for the Malenko Platinum and the Grand Platinum and then the Aero pads are the same for the regular Aero and the Grand Aero. But look at the difference in the size of the pad. I'm going to move this around to different angles. You can see 
the shape of the platinum pad compared to the original aero pad. A significant difference in size. Okay, so that's the platinum fitted and there's no movement whatsoever. As you can see, I can move the whole vehicle mirror just by moving this, which means that they're very secure. They don't feel like they're going anywhere at all. Now, the benefit also of the Grand Platinum is that this bar is much longer, which I think is going to be absolutely fine for the eight foot caravan. If you haven't got an eight foot wide caravan, but you also want to use the platinum mirrors, is this bar can be moved further in. It's not a problem. You can move that in to just past the existing vehicle mirror. The good thing about putting the mirrors on the top is it's not going to interfere with the mirror closing. When the vehicle is locked, this mirror closes and I'd be concerned about putting it on the bottom because I think that's going to hit the door. It's very, very close. On the top, it's absolutely fine. Something else to note, can you see this angle here? You see how I've got this pointing downwards? You'll see on other vehicles, when you see other people towing, sometimes they have this pointing upwards. You can change it. You just remove the screw, rotate the bar, put this one screw back in. The benefit of having this going downwards here is that the mirror is more aligned to the height of the vehicle mirror. So as you're looking into your mirrors and you glance to the left or glance to the right, your eyes are only moving horizontally, not up and down. So you're not looking to the left to see the mirror and then trying to look up to see the towing mirror. You're looking straight across, which I find much easier than trying to look up as well as across. So there you have it. That's the grand platinum mirror fitted and also the original aero mirror fitted. Now, I think my choice is going to be the Grand Platinum, purely because the brackets are spanning the front part of the, the towing vehicle mirror and the back part, which I think is going to be more secure. The original Aeros felt quite secure, but I think these feel even more secure. Now, don't forget, this Grand Platinum is also available in a Aero Platinum, which is the teardrop shape mirror head. Uh, same clamps, same arm, just a smaller mirror head. So if you're not towing with a big vehicle, a 4x4, and you want that smaller mirror head, then you can get the platinum mirrors in the teardrop shape and also the bigger mirror head shape as well. I'll put links in the description to both the original Aero mirrors, both Grand and Aero, and also the new platinum Grand and Aero mirrors. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed that or learned something from it. The next video should be the tow bar preparation. We've had a new tow bar fitted and of course we need to get rid of that paint off the top of it. So we'll do a quick video just showing how that's done. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.